If you're attempting to scan a QR code, but nothing is happening, I'm going to show you six things you can do to get it to work. I'll be utilizing both an Android phone and an iPhone, so this video should be helpful no matter what phone you have. First, let me show you how scanning a QR code is supposed to work. You open the camera app on your phone, you point it at the QR code, a message will pop up on the screen. Typically, it's a website that you can then tap and it'll bring you to the website. It may also be a link to open up an application. In some cases, it may just be some text in the pop-up that doesn't lead to another website. It's just telling you something. That's pretty much how the process works, no matter what type of phone you have. If you're doing all that, but you're not getting a pop-up message, then something is wrong. And that's what this video is for. Before I go through the six solutions, I should mention that if you get a link and you tap on it, you may get an error saying that the website does not exist. There's no way to resolve that. It's not a phone issue. It just means the website isn't up and running anymore. Make sure your QR feature is actually turned on in your camera settings. I do that on Android by tapping the arrow at the top of the camera app. It shows me a small menu of options. I tap more settings. There's an option called Google Lens Suggestions, and in the small print below it, it mentions QR codes. I want to make sure that option is on. That little switch needs to be in the right position. On this iPhone, I'm going to tap the settings icon. I'm going to scroll down and tap on the word camera. I want to make sure the option called scan QR codes is turned on. Now on your phone, these options may be worded differently. So if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, search through all the options until you see something that has to do with QR codes and just make sure it's on. If your camera is very old, the option may not be there at all, but keep watching because I have some solutions later in the video. If nothing has worked so far, make sure that when you have your camera app on, it's in the correct mode. On my Android, the word camera needs to be highlighted at the bottom. On my iPhone, it needs to say photo. Just slide it over and select the right mode. So if you're not having any luck so far, check to make sure you've updated your phone's operating system and updated the camera app itself. Older versions may not have QR scanning ability built in, so that's the reason to update it. To update my Android phone's operating system, I swipe down and then I swipe down again. Then I tap this little gear symbol that's in the bottom right and then I tap system and then I tap system update. If there's an update, that screen will let you know and you can run it. To update the camera app, I'm going to go to the Google Play Store, click my avatar on the top right, and select manage apps and devices. There's a little area where it may say updates available. If it does, I select it and it'll show apps available to update. If one says Google Camera, that's the camera app, so I can select Update on the far right. If you've never used the Google Play Store, it may prompt you to set up an account. I'll put a link in the description that leads to Google's help page that explains how to get it set up. It's a little bit too much to cover in this video. On the iPhone, the process to updating things is quite similar. To update the operating system, go to Settings, General, Software Update. This page will tell you if there's an update available, and if so, select Install Now. To update the camera app on the iPhone, go to the App Store, click your avatar, and look under Upcoming Automatic Updates. If there's one for camera, select the word Update. 
If you've never used the App Store before, you may be prompted to create an ID and to add a credit card number. I'll put a link to the Apple support page that goes through the process and it includes a way of doing it without the credit card information. If you were able to run updates, you may want to circle back around to solution one to make sure the QR option is turned on. Here's something that some people may overlook. There may be something obstructing your camera's view. Make sure the camera lens is clean and make sure there's nothing blocking the QR code itself like dirt or something. The city I live in has parking meters with QR codes and I noticed that people were vandalizing them by slapping stickers on them. I'm not sure why. If enough of the QR code is blocked, it won't work. In addition to everything I just mentioned, make sure you have good lighting when attempting to scan a QR code. If you've made it this far and nothing is working, it's time to give up on the camera app in order to scan QR codes and instead download an app that's specific to QR scanning. On Android, I can go into the Play Store, do a search on QR scanner, and many apps will come up. Many of them are free, and many of them have very similar names, so it can get confusing. But here's one called QR and Barcode Scanner. I'm gonna install it. It'll appear on my dashboard and I'll go into it. It'll ask for permission to use the camera lens. I'll go ahead and give that permission. It'll immediately start looking for a QR code. If any QR code comes in front of the camera, it instantly scans it. And it gives me the pop-up message that would normally happen up here at the top of the app. I can tap that and it'll open up the link and bring me to the website. Don't tap anything that's down here. That's the ad space. Sometimes they'll try to trick you and put an install button down there, but uh, who knows what that would do if you went through with that. I tried other apps in the Play Store and most of them look the same, though some of them have some really intrusive ads. On the iPhone, doing a search on QR scanner in the App Store yields the same kind of results. So just pick one, download it, and see how it does. The final thing you can try is to use a website to scan a QR code, so you don't have to use an app at all. On the Android phone, I can go to a website called webqr.com. Upon entering, you may get a pop-up asking if the site can use the camera, allow it, then I place a QR code in front of the lens, and if it successfully reads it, it'll put the pop-up message on the bottom of the screen. Tapping that message does not always send me to the link, Instead, I have to press down on it and select open, and then it takes me to the website that it's linking to. Also note that sometimes the site will mistakenly pick the front facing camera. If so, you'll have to scan your QR code like this. I'll also mention that this site really turns up the heat on my phone. It gets hot to the touch if I'm on the site for a while. So just make sure you completely shut the site when it's not in use. That site does not work on iPhone, but there's another site called dnschecker.org that does work. The site is a little bit harder to use. When I go into it, I have to select these three little bars and select all tools, productivity tools, and then QR scanner. Then I'll pick scan QR code. I will allow it to access the camera. It may default to the front facing camera, but there's a camera's list button where you can switch it to another camera. Once it scans the QR code, it'll put what is normally in the pop-up message down here and you can just click it from there. In the description of this video, I'll put a link to webqr.com and dnschecker.org. And that wraps up the six things I have to suggest for you. Let me know if this video helped you at all. Have a good day, everybody.